Hi friends hello and welcome to the last 90 days to cat series in the last part we have talked about remainders and i hope you've all seen we have covered everything that is required for remainders from cat standpoint in that video in this part we'll be doing the basics of factors we'll do a subsequent session in which we'll talk about some advanced concepts also in this part we'll be talking about the basics which includes number of factors sum of factors product of factors odd and even factors and perfect square factors all of this with very simple examples for you to understand it very very clearly let us start factors starting with prime factorization prime factorization is breaking a number into prime numbers or powers of prime numbers a number like 180 so how to prime factorize this number see there are two ways of doing it one is if you take 180 start dividing this number with prime numbers and start noting the quotient so 2 90 times then again 2 45 times then i can't divide it by 2 so i'll take 3 15 times right then i'll take 3 5 times so now i can't further subdivide it because 5 already is a prime number so 2 comes 2 times so 2 square 3 comes 2 times so 3 square so 5 comes once so 5 to the power 1 let's take one another example 232 how do you calculate so 232 again 232 if you take 2 out becomes 116 if you take another 2 out becomes 58 take 2 out becomes 29 so you've taken 2 to the power 3 three times you've taken 2 out and then 29 which is a prime number in itself so this is how you can factorize 232 So I hope the prime factorization bit is clear. Let's talk about the first aspect, which is number of factors. Number of factors of let's say one eighty. When you write a number as prime number p raised to the power a, prime number q raised to the power b, prime number r raised to the power c, in that case, the number of factors can be calculated by just adding plus one to the power. So a plus one, add plus one to b also, b plus one. add plus 1 to c also c plus 1 and just multiply this and do you know why this happened for example let's take let's take 180 and let's understand so 2 square into 3 square into 5 for 2 i can take 2 to the power 0 also 2 to the power 1 also and 2 to the power 2 also so i can take three numbers here similarly for 3 also i can take 3 to the power 0 3 to the power 1 and 3 to the power 2 hence three numbers here also and for 5 again i can take 5 to the power 0 and 5 to the power 1 so two numbers so therefore 3 into 3 into 2 number of factors will be 18 i hope this is clear to you and finally why are we multiplying it because i can take 2 to the power 0 into 3 to the power 0 i can take 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 0 so all these combinations can come in together which will be absorbed when I, when we take this multiple so 3 into 3 into 2 that is 18 let's calculate for 232 also so 232 we have calculated is 2 cube into 29 so 2 cube into 29 to the power 1 so what will be the number of factors we will just add 1 to the powers so if you add 1 here 3 plus 1 4 add 1 here 1 plus 1 2 so 4 into 2 is 8 so number of factors of 232 will be it in the next part we are we have already calculated number of factors now we are talking about sum of factors right let's take that example 180 is 2 square into 3 square into 5 how to calculate the sum we know that for 2 i can take 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 so just sum it up 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 2 into 3 square 3 to the power 0 3 to the power 1 3 to the power 2 for 5 i can take 5 to the power 0 5 to the power 1 this is nothing but gp sum so this becomes 2 to the power 3 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 into 3 to the power 3 minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 into 5 to the power 2 minus 1 upon 5 minus 1 this comes out to be 546 if you express any number as let's say prime number p raised to the power a prime number q raised to the power b and prime number r raised to the power c in that case your sum of factors will become 
p to the power a plus 1 minus 1 upon p minus 1 into q to the power b plus 1 minus 1 upon q minus 1 into r to the power c plus 1 minus 1 upon r minus 1. Let's calculate for 232. We know 232 is 2 to the power 3 into 29 to the power 1. So this becomes 2 to the power 4 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 into 29 to the power 2 minus 1 upon 29 minus 1. So this is a square minus b square. This is a minus b. So this becomes 29 plus 1. a square minus b square divided by a minus b becomes a plus b. So 29 plus 1 here. Here we will have 2 to the power 4 minus 1. This is again 1. So this becomes 15 into 30. The answer is 450. Sum of factors of 232 will be 450. So product of factors. Let's take a smaller number to understand how this works. Let's take a smaller number like 6, which is 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 1. Number of factors here will become 2 into 2, which is equal to 4. What are the factors of 6? You have 1, you have 2, you have 3 and the number itself 6. What will be the product of factors? The product of factors will be 6 into 1, 6, 2 into 3, 6 becomes 36. Now think about it. Does it fit a pattern? Let's see. This number 6 raised to the power this number 4 divided by 2 will give you 36. Let's take us, you know, another number. Let's take 12. The factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, then 6. You know, don't have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So these are the factors, right? Here, if I just multiply the factors, what will happen? Let's see. 12 into 1, 12. 2 into 6, 12. 3 into 4, 12. So this becomes 1, 7, 2, 8, which is nothing but number of factors. What will be here? 6. So you have 12. Number of factors is 6 divided by 2. So 12 to the power 3. That becomes 1, 7, 2, 8. Product of factors is same as the number raised to the power factors by 2. 232, we know the number of factors is equal to 8. The product of factors will become 232 raised to the power 8 by 2, which is 232 raised to the power 4. Odd and even factors. Obviously, we have so many factors. Some factors will be a multiple of 2. Some factors will not be a multiple of 2, right? So those are even and odd factors. An example like 180, where we can write this as 2 square into 3 square into 5 to the power 1. Only prime number which is an even number is 2. And that is the only number which is responsible for making, you know, numbers even. If I just eliminate this 2 square, all I will get are odd factors. So just ignore the powers of 2 and calculate factors. How do you calculate factors? Take plus 1 in the powers. So 2 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1. So this you multiply 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So for this number, the odd factors will be equal to 6. We have calculated the total number of factors already. That would be 3 into 3 into 2, which is 18. So you know the total number of factors, you know the odd number of factors. So even factors automatically will become 18 minus 6 equal to 12. Let's take one more example, 232 odd and even factors. So 232 will have a lot of even factors because 232 is 2 cube into 29 to the power 1, right? Now if you just eliminate this even power, then you all you have is 29 to the power 1. So you take 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So odd factors in this case will be 2. Total we know is equal to 8. So even will be equal to 6. You can have a look at also what will be the factors. What factors are odd factors of 232? Very, very simply. One is 1, the other is 29. Everything else would be even factor. Number of factors which are perfect squares. Perfect squares are prime number raised to the power even. Right? Think about any perfect square. Let's think about 4. It is 2 square. Let's think about 16. What is 16? 2 to the power 4. Let's take any other number. 36. 36 is 3 square into 2 square. So prime numbers. So always a perfect square is prime number raised to the power even. The question here is how many factors are perfect squares? Let's take 180. 
180 is 2 square into 3 square into 5 to the power 1. For 2, what powers can I take for it to become a perfect square? For 2, I can take 0, I can take 2. For 3 also, I can take 0, I can take 2. For 5, I can only take 0. The number of factors in this case will be 2, here also 2, here 1. So 2 into 2, which is 4. An example like 12. 12 is 2 square into 3 to the power 1. We have to find out factors which are perfect squares, right? You can take 2 to the power 0, which is 1. You can take 2 to the power 2, which is 4. If you take 3 to the power 1 from here, so 2 to the power 0 into 3 to the power 1, which is 3, not a perfect square. And 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 1, which is not a perfect square. Hence, you must take a 0 only here. You have to take either 0 or any other even number, right? For the numbers to become perfect squares. So, how many possibilities here? For here, you can take 0 and 2. For here, you can take only 1. So, therefore, the possibilities will be 2 into 1, 2. What are those factors which are perfect squares? For 12, 1 and 4 are the two numbers. Similarly, let's find out for 232. How many perfect squares? So, 232, we know, is 2 to the power 3 into 29 to the power 1. Here, the power is 3. Inside this, I can take 0, I can take 2. Inside this, I can only take 0. So, 2 into 1 equal to 2. So, what are the perfect squares? Quite clearly, 1 and 4 are the two perfect squares here. Very, very soon, you will see an advanced concept on the same topic on factors. Clear the basics first and I'll see you all in the next part. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye.